I just wanted to share a thought with you um, while well, it was in my mind. I just got out of the shower and I just love a nice hot shower. There's no better feeling when you've had a hard day at work or, or a, the last time you can remember going on a vacation to the beach or the mountains or going camping or something and you just get all dirtied up and mucked up. And there's nothing better than getting home, getting a nice hot shower, clean sheets on the bed, and getting in nestled, nestled into your own home. It's, it's a great feeling of just being clean. Which leads me to thinking about David. And the scripture says, Create in me a clean heart, O Lord. Renew a right spirit in me. And um, I started looking at all the passages in the scriptures that pertain to a clean heart. And pretty much... Well, all of them say one person does the cleaning. And guess who that is? Nope, it's not you. God does. God cleans our heart. God purifies our heart. God renews our spirit. And um, if you're feeling all junked up today and you just feel bogged down with uh, soot in your heart from just living in this world, um, just like... Um, Abraham's nephew Lot, you know, he was in Sodom and uh, he was a righteous man living in a very unrighteous town and um, God delivered him from that, which is which is kind of symbolic of us. You know, we live in this world. We're not of this world. We live in it and we get mucked up by the junk around us and we do all that we can to keep our hearts right before the Lord and stay fast to him because he's the one that cleans us, purifies us, sanctifies us, transforms us, renews us. So um, like I was saying, if you're feeling all junked up today and just feel heavy and just feel like, God, I just don't feel clean inside. I just need your 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 cleansing power, you know, Christ's blood on the cross when he died, oh, man, that it was given to us so that we can have our hearts purged and clean. The blood covers our sins and doesn't just cover like in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament just covered it. I, I should have said, you know, washed away. But the Old Testament, the sacrifices just covered sin. But when Jesus' sacrifice came, it washed them away. Washed them away like a tidal wave, like a tsunami. Sucked in the bad and sucked it back out again. So, uh, I wanted to read a scripture to you. Um, let's see. Uh, well, I think it's in Romans 12, 2. Um, nope, no, no, I'm sorry. That's a good one too, but you can read that. Acts 15, 8 and 9. It's, it, it's the Jews talking about the Gentiles, and it says, God, who knows the heart, showed that he accepted them, the Gentiles, by giving the Holy Spirit to them, just as he, as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for he purified their hearts by faith. So by faith in Christ, our hearts are purified by God. So today, I just want to encourage you, if you're feeling, uh, like I said, mucked up and your heart's all just cluttered up, um, God is the one that will purify your heart and um, give you peace inside. So I pray for you today. Um, just call on God's name. Call on the name of Jesus. Ask him to cleanse your heart, purify it, create in you a clean heart, and renew a right spirit. We all have a tendency to get a little sour spirit here and there, and I'm a big one. And uh, it just causes us to run to God because we can't clean our heart. Um, you can do all you want. Um, you can fast. You can pray. You can beg. You can do good works. But it's God who cleans a heart. And he cleans a humble heart. So humbly go to God. Ask him to clean your heart today. All right? You have a great week. Bye-bye.